Hey, this is Tim Mills. Today's video, I'm gonna show you how to get your Gmail inbox to zero. Now, if you're anything like me, seeing that little red notification drives you crazy. I just upgraded to an iPhone and not being able to get rid of that pesky little red dot, I mean, it just literally drove me crazy. So what I, as you can see, I have these little notifications and they drove me nuts. I couldn't get past it. So I had to figure out a way to make sure that I didn't have to deal with that. So having control of my email inbox is super important. So now I went from that to this. Now I can sleep better. Let me show you how I did it. Okay, so here is my Gmail inbox. Nothing fancy, this is just, uh, this is my second account so I don't have as many emails in here. My first email that I had with all the notifications, I had 25,000 emails in there. This one is new, so it doesn't have quite as many. But I'm gonna show you exactly how to set it up so that way you don't have to worry about dealing with all these emails anymore. So the first step is to create labels. We're gonna create three different labels. We're gonna create one that is called immediate response needed. We're gonna create one called the tickler file and we're gonna create a folder called the archive. So let me show you how to do that. What you wanna do is over here on the left hand side, you're gonna see the word more. Click on more, and then you're gonna see manage labels. Click that open. So now what you're gonna to wanna to do is go down to create new label. And what I like to do is label it number one, and then name this one immediate response required. And then click create. And do the same thing for the next two labels. Your next one is gonna be tickler. Now something important to note here, you cannot label the word archive by itself because that is already a designated, Google has already saved that word so that way you can't use it. So just call it the archive folder or archive label, whatever you wanna call it is fine. So now if you look over on the left hand side, you can actually see you have over here, you have one, two, and three, which are gonna be your files that you use. So if you wanna have it, you, you have inbox, you have starred, you have sent mail, you have drafts. So if you wanna arrange that so it looks differently, you can certainly do that. Uh, right here you can have, you can hide your sent mail, you don't really need to see that, and you can create. So now this is how I want this to look, okay? So now the next step is to go back into my inbox. Now, in order to make this happen, in order to be able to, like say you have 20,000 emails like I did, you don't wanna have to move all of them individually, because you can only do 100 at a time. So what I really highly suggest that you do is go through your last 30 days of emails and put them into the files where they're important. You know, it's either they're gonna need immediate responses, they're gonna be in your tickler file, which your tickler file is basically something that needs to be done this week. And then your archive folder is gonna be all the stuff that you wanna be able to find later down the road, so you don't wanna delete it, okay? So that's your first assignment is to go and kind of organize that. Get your 30 days, because when you move all these, you're gonna to have to, they're all gonna to move together. So if you have full emails that you don't want to have moved into the archive folder, now's your time to get those out of there. So now your next step is gonna be, we have to change the inbox back to the default setting and set, because right now, this is the priority inbox. We have to set this back to default in order to make this work. So you're gonna go over to settings, and then you're gonna click on inbox, and then right here, you can see it, it says priority inbox. Switch that back to default. And then click save changes. Okay, so now literally, in order to organize your emails, you can literally take and grab any of these and just drag them into the folders. You can take and just grab it and just pull it over and then let it go and it will move into that folder for you. So you can do that very, you can do that very easily. So that's how you're gonna organize, okay? So now what I wanna do is I wanna take all the, now that I have all of my stuff organized, this could take you a little while, so don't be surprised. Now that I have that all organized, what I wanna do is move all of the other emails out of my inbox and into my archive folder. So what do you wanna do is click on, as you can see this little button here, it says select. Now you can select all, okay? It's gonna highlight your entire screen. And if you look here, it shows all 50 messages on this page are selected. Select all 278 messages in the folder, in the inbox. So click on that button, so now everything is selected. So what you can do, if you wanna get rid of notifications, is click mark as red, and then click okay. So now you can go back and do that again, same thing, select all 278. And now what we wanna do is right up here, we wanna move it to the archive folder. 
And then it's going to ask you again for mine. It said before 25,000. It says yes, okay. Click okay. And there you go. Now you have zero emails in your inbox, but they're all still there. So if you need, if you know there's an email you need, you can easily go back to your, your files that you have. You have your tickler files, you have your immediate response files. You can easily go back and get those emails still. So you don't have to worry, they're not gone, they're still there. Now, the trick to making this system work is to, when you get a new email, you have four options. So only touch your email once, okay? So you have four options. You can either reply to it, which means you, you know then you don't have to worry about it. Uh, you can either, you can click the label button. So if you know something that you need to do this week, put it in your tickler file. If you know it's something you need to answer by the end of the day, put it in your immediate response file. And then the next one is to archive it. So if it's not something that's important, but you wanna save it, put it in the archive folder. And then the fourth one is delete it. If you don't need it, if you've seen it, the information you don't need anymore, just click delete and get it out of your inbox. Now, in order for you to do this and use this system effectively, you need to make sure you stay on top of that. Only touch your email once, because if you're anything like me, you open your email on your cell phone and you're like, okay, I'll get back to that later. And you completely forget about it. So you can do all of these actions right from your smart device. So from your iPad, from your iMac, from your, I mean, from everything, every device you have, Android, everything, you can do the exact same thing. And then all of a sudden you're gonna be looking and you're gonna have zero notifications on your computer. So it is a beautiful thing. But I hope that helped you guys. This is a great system, it works, it's simple. And it'll help you keep up with your email because if you get so many like I do, they tend to drive you crazy. Um, but if, the, if it helps you, please just you know just leave a comment or share share it around. You know share the share it with somebody else that you know that has a ton of notifications. This is a very simple system, a very simple solution. And if you're anything like me, I really love seeing that no notifications on there. <laughs> it's such a beautiful thing. So hope it helps, guys. Have an awesome day.